Cornelius was a Roman centurion stationed in Caesarea. He was very devout and generously gave alms to those in need of assistance. One afternoon, an angel appeared to Cornelius in a vision. The angel instructed the centurion to invite to his home a man named Simon Peter, currently staying in Joppa. Cornelius was shocked by the angel's appearance, but immediately dispatched his servants to extend the invitation. As the servants were making their way to Joppa, Peter received his own message from God. Peter saw a vision of a tarp lowered from the heavens filled with all the animals of the earth. A voice informed Peter that he could eat any of the animals he wanted because God had made them all clean. God was telling Peter that he did not have to be concerned about the Jewish purity laws that he so carefully observed. While Peter was still puzzling over the message, the servants of Cornelius knocked at Peter's door and invited him to a meeting with their master. Suddenly, Peter understood what God was trying to tell him. God showed no partiality to Jews or Gentiles. All were holy in God's sight, and all were invited to be followers of Jesus. Upon arriving, Peter happily explained to Cornelius and his entire household about the saving work of God in Jesus. The Holy Spirit filled the room where they were meeting and came to rest upon all the members of the family. Peter immediately baptized them and welcomed them into the Christian community. This was a momentous day in the life of the early church and required leaps of faith by two very holy men. Peter needed a leap of faith to believe that God's great plan of salvation included Gentiles as well as Jews. And Cornelius needed a leap of faith to trust the words of the angel and the animated Jewish preacher who came to his home to visit.